received an email about someone asking about uh, publishing their own book. And um, there's a lot of people that have an interest in it, and uh, I, I've done several books online, and um, as have many other people. And so I wanted to put together a little tutorial or some advice here, an advice video on how to go about doing it. Um, first, got to understand uh, how the publishing industry is changing. And if I say HarperCollins, Penguin, McGraw-Hill, Barnes & Noble, Borders Books. Um, what comes to mind is elite snooty, snooty snoot snobs over on the East Coast. And you're right. Uh, the first experience I ever had in writing my first book, uh, it wasn't clear that online publishing or self-publishing was you know, the way to go or there wasn't a lot done on it. And so I, I foolishly uh, started throwing you know, transcripts and first couple chapters to publishers. Don't do that. Don't even waste your time. The New York publishing houses are, they're gone. They're dinosaurs. Amazon is going to destroy them. The internet's going to destroy them. And to show you how arrogant and snooty they are, I, I tried to find the quote. I couldn't find it on the internet. Uh, but I remember very distinctly one of these old farts uh, in one of these hoity-toity, you know, it wasn't Simon & Schuster, but kind of like that, a two-name publishing house. That, that's really hoity-toity. Uh, he said something like, well, without publishers, uh, there's no one to guard uh, whether or not quality pieces get through. And, and he then claimed that the quality of writing would go down. And I wanted to give him a, a you know, sincere read between the lines, pal. You're not, that's the attitude. They think that they will determine what gets published. They will determine what you will have a choice to read and what you won't have a choice to read. And that, that's nothing more than tyranny. And, and all it is is a guy trying to protect his job and forcing less choice and less quality upon you. And the concept of us choosing our own, publishing our own, is lost on these dinosaurs. So cheer on the demise of the New York hoity-toity, snooty, snooty, snoot, snoot, uh, East Coast publishing houses. It's, it's going to be it's just going to be enjoyable uh, watching them uh, collapse. Uh, so you, truthfully, you will waste more time try to find a publisher for your book than you will writing your book, unless you're writing a massively large book. Um, I spent the better part of three months, you know, kind of calling da da da, and it was kind of funny, no more than, I think it was a year ago, I got a rejection letter for a book that I wrote back in freaking 2007. That's when I wrote it, got published in 2008. But that's the lethargicness, if that's even a word, that's the the, the complete moronic speed that you're dealing with with these people out in the uh, So you could write a book before you find a publisher and that's what you should do. Now, what's great is with Amazon and the internet, Amazon has a publishing arm called CreateSpace. That's what I recommend because Amazon also offers you the marketing system or the marketing structure, infrastructure through its website, Amazon, to sell your book. And so most of your time then, yes, you spend a fair amount of time writing the book, but you've really cut out the middle end. You, and, and more than one than you think, a lot of publishing houses won't even talk to you unless you have an agent. So now you got two people, two unnecessary entities that jack up the price of the book. It doesn't even really jack up the price. It takes out more money for you. Amazon uh, is very fair. I think you get a 75% commission or 35% commission, depending on which way you want to go. There's pros and cons to each. Um, that's much more lucrative than what these morons out on the East Coast are gonna give you. Uh, also, Amazon, th there's no quality control at Amazon. So if you write the world's piece, you know, biggest piece of junk, uh, it is the people that will decide whether or not your book is worth reading or not. Uh, the second thing you're gonna spend most of your time on is getting that book out there and, and, and uh, advertising it and marketing it. And there's ways you can do it, but they're gonna be the exact same ways that your agent would or your publisher would. Now, the publisher does have access to Barnes and Noble, who whip de ding So you could sell your book to 55-year-old liberal women with short hair who like to read about cats. And there's your marketing base. And you're not going to get a lot of money out of that. And Borders went bankrupt. So that again, that industry is going away um, for sadistic fun, Schadenfreude. Just uh, read articles about you know, search Amazon Bush book publishers. Oh, it's great. Read those articles. It's great seeing these people just fight the inevitable. But so you have it there. Now, I would recommend doing a really good job on all your books because if you write a crappy book at the at first, that kind of sets the tone and your reputation for everyone else. That's going to be your readers. They're going to no one's going to read you anyway. So you got to put a really, you know, put a good book out there, put a quality book. Take your time, write it, 
Um, and then also have your friends edit it. Uh, don't let boys, men, don't let a male do any kind of editing or proofreading. None. Men suck at it. I've had it, I mean, and because I think men just go for the general intent and we're a little less patient. Women are much better editors and proofreaders than, than uh, men are. So go with the women. If you have some female friends, buy them some chocolates, do whatever. Uh, one girl uh, doing a proofreading job is the equivalent to five, maybe even six guys. That's what my experience, and this is not to insult my male friends, women are just better at it. So um, give that to your female friends. Uh, also, if you have a significantly sized book, break it up. Don't, don't have someone edit the whole damn thing. It takes too long, and it, it, it does take a lot of time uh, for people to do that. Uh, and then another thing, uh, and I was kind of surprised with Davis Arini. He, he wrote a book, um, uh, As I Woke These Broken Roads, and I'll be putting a review of that later. He was uh, uh, not apprehensive, but concerned, maybe even a little bit uh, fearful uh, that he was going to write and publish a book and put himself out there. He, he did a review or a post about it. How about he's throwing himself out? You're not throwing yourself out there. Right? Or, you, you, I mean, yeah, you're, sh you're putting a piece of work out there, and Everyone's going to rip it apart, and some people and people are going to like it too. But I, that's the least fear you should have. You should write a book. Um, now, finally, in relation to that, I think everyone should write a book, even if it's not to make money. And the reason why is everyone focuses on their children as their legacy. Well, that's your genetic material. That's not you. Uh, I'm sure you've influenced your child. And this is not. I'm not going to go on my rant again about against having children and buying Ferraris instead. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but if you want something the world will remember you by, you should write a book. That's a great way uh, to, to leave some kind of legacy or an impact upon society. Even if, you're, you know, my books are political, economic, educational, things like that, where I try to change people's lives or write for uh, posterity to go nanny nanny boo boo, I knew I was right, and now you're all eating beans out of a can because you voted in Barack Obama again. Uh, but. Uh, just even if it's about your family, or you, or your experiences, or your travels, or your recommendations, or your observations. It doesn't, it, it, that's something that's really cool. And I will also say, especially when I wrote my first book, people say, you wrote a book. It's a very eclectic and interesting thing. It, 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 it uh, builds character, and it, it shows people the gate, uh, you got a little bit of character. Um, and make it a real, don't make it a little pamphlet because then people, they look you up and they, well, what's this 20 page book? That's not a book, that's a, that's a manual. Uh, so if you write a book, it'd be, well, what do you do? Oh, I wrote a book. Oh, really? And it, it's just an interesting thing. And it, it opens more doors, oh, I guess for business and, and making money, but it, it certainly doesn't hurt you if you write a book. So um, that's it, you know? Uh, go and do it. Write yourself a book. Don't deal with the publishers. And if anything, go, blah, 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 blah. hey, old timers. You, I don't like the internet. We ain't gonna do things the old fashioned way. And you know what? To give you confidence, look up how many people these these publishers shot down. They shot down Stephen King. They shot down um, Dr. Seuss. They shot down um, the gal who wrote Gone with the Wind. Um, th there are famous authors, famous books. That, that they shot down. So don't, you, and besides, it's so corrupt and nepotistic anyway. They're so connected. It's not, it's not like you, no name you living in freaking Nebraska. You send your transcript out there. Some idiot in New York is going to look at your transcript, which could be better, and then look at his nephew's transcript and say, oh, we're going to go with Chip, my, my, my nephew. We're going to have Chip's book, The Crap Chip Wrote, and this will be a bestseller. And, you know, Look at Nancy Pelosi's book. But in any case, toodles, kids. Go have fun. Write those books.